You know, it seems like every week you see images like these, a semi-crash shutting down the interstate for hours. People hurt, people killed, sometimes causing damage to the interstate that taxpayers have to repair. Tonight, our Call 6 investigator, Kara Kinney, digging into what's causing all these crashes and what you can do to avoid being in one. Ask Indiana State Police what drivers are doing wrong that causes crashes, and you'll get a laundry list. Texting while driving, speeding, following too closely. But we're also making another mistake you might never even think of when it comes to sharing the road with big rigs. Twisted metal, mangled trucks and cars, traffic backed up for miles. It's a common sight on central Indiana's major highways. Wrecks involving semis get the most attention because they're the most likely to disrupt traffic and cause backups. INDOT has identified these areas with high crash rates for all types of crashes, not just trucks. Ramps on I-70, 65, and 465. These interchanges have a couple of blind spots. Master Trooper Shanna Kennedy says people wait way too long to get over for their exit. I think that's one of our biggest issues out here. Get over. There's a reason why these signs are up. We're giving you enough advance warning that you know that if you wanted to get off at East Street right here, you got a quarter of a mile. Don't wait 10 feet. The Indiana Motor Truck Association points to this study that shows 75% of car drivers are at fault in deadly car truck crashes. People traveling too fast for conditions and people driving in distracted manners. It takes longer for trucks to accelerate, decelerate, change lanes. Trooper Kennedy says many car drivers follow trucks way too closely, cut them off, and drive next to them. People will linger next to the trucks. Oh, I just, I don't understand why people want to put themselves in that kind of jeopardy. Kennedy sees crashes all the time where a car is stuck in a truck's blind spot. A lot of times I'll hear a truck driver say, I didn't see him. Light trucks and semis make up 27% of traffic on urban Indiana highways. Police say the best way to share the road with big rigs is to drive defensively and keep your eyes moving at all times. You need to know not only what's going on in front of you, but what's, what's coming up behind you. You may have that aggressive driver behind you. You need to realize what's, up, what's about to happen, and maybe you could take evasive maneuvers because you can't trust other people out here. INDOT is making a slew of improvements to areas with high crash rates, including adding larger signage, rumble strips, and flashing lights. I'm Call 6 investigator Kara Kenny.